In this video, I'm going to be breaking down why the bunch tight end is the best offense in Madden 21. What is up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. And the way that we try to help people get better at Madden is we post videos on YouTube every single day that you can watch completely for free. So if you want to subscribe, it's completely free for you to do that. And that way you're going to know whenever we release a new video. Another thing that we do to try to help people get better at the game is we write ebooks. And if you want to get any of my ebooks, these are full schemes, uh, full playbooks, full schemes. Um, that can teach you from start to finish how to pick up an offense or a defense, learn all of the things that you need to know about it, and also how to implement that into a game plan for you. So if you want to get those ebooks, those are in the description. And one of the ones that we're talking about today is the Bunch Tight End ebook that I just released a few weeks ago. And I am so excited to dive into this today because I want to talk a little bit about, about two specific reasons as to why this play is so powerful or this formation is so powerful and it's really for two plays um three in particular but really two the first one is curl flat corner and the second one is the pa cross as you can see here the pa all cross now i'm in the run heavy playbook you might be using this out of the seattle playbook or the las vegas playbook and if you're using it out of those playbooks i think it's called the pa boot over but this is the best um two play combination that i've ever seen and the way i like to teach these ebooks and really, when you're creating a game plan, what you really want to do is you want your schemes to basically fit well together. So you want to have one play that establishes something, and then you want to have another play that looks exactly the same, but can go in a completely different direction. And so that's kind of what we accomplish with this PA all cross. Now, what I'm going to do um, is first, we're just going to kind of go against random plays, and I'm going to talk a little bit about this uh, system. So all you're going to do is you're going to double team the defensive end on the far right. You're going to put your tight end on a delay fade. And then what I like to do is I like to smart route without a scaling. You don't have to do that. You can leave him on his route if you want to. But the first thing that I like to do is I like to motion him out and snap once he gets to the numbers. And what this does is it allows more spacing in these routes so that you can throw these at multiple points. They're going to come open at multiple points. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. If you watch right here on this play breakdown, you're going to see that the post route to Vada Scantling is going to come open um, a little bit later than the crossing route to Devontae Adams, and that's intentional. You want these, you don't want these routes to come open at the same time because you want to be able to have time to be able to go from one progression to the next and still be effective. You'll see here this is kind of a standard uh, zone coverage, and as you can see, this crossing route gets in a really, really good opening of the field. Now what I want to do is I want to break this down against a couple of different specific coverages that you will face if you play a lot of Madden. And that is the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of zone drop coverage, right? Something like what you're seeing right here will be something that you will face. And I'm just going to jump into the 335 wide. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to work out of the Mike Blitz 3 um, for the remainder of this video, as well as a couple of other coverages within that formation. And really all you need to know is that what you're going to see here is the Mike Blitz 3, kind of the standard setup. And what we're going to do is we're going to put both linebackers in the flats, and we're going to put our middle linebacker in a hook zone, just like so. And what's really cool about this is, again, because of your motioning, you can motion anyone you want. You can motion Austin to the right. You can motion left. There's some different things and creative things that you can do with the motion to help this play. But as you'll see right here, the gist of the play is you're going to roll out. Everyone's going to chase you, and then you can let that delay fade kind of come in over the top of the zones, as you can see right there. And the longer that you let, um, one of the things that I don't do a good job of when I'm rolling out with this play is sometimes what you want to do is you want to get out here and you want to let that fade kind of run, 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 run to the last possible second. It's going to get you a ton of yards against any zone coverage or man coverage for that matter. It's really practically, I think it's kind of considered a glitch, but essentially what's going to happen in man coverage is the man defender is going to turn into a quarterback spy. And what you're going to notice is he's going to chase the quarterback just like this. You release the fade, and as you can see, he's now open. Now, granted, Rodgers kind of made a bad throw, but he is open, okay? 
So two other things to kind of think about a little bit as you're running this play, and that is the first and foremost thing is the simplicity of the play. You don't have to make a lot of adjustments. You really only have to make one or two adjustments, maybe some line adjustments, and then you're off. The other thing is you have the ability to beat man, to beat zone from the same exact setup. In my opinion, I would always, always recommend doing that. It's going to help you out a ton. Another thing that you can do is you can literally beat every single coverage in the game with this one adjustment or with this one setup, right? If they if they run uh, zone, they have to have essentially a really, really good Mabel covered on the right side because this crossing route does typically a really good job, you'll see it right there, of kind of getting in a kind of a tender area of the defense. As you can see, the spacing of the play allows that to get over 25-yard zone drops. So that's another reason as to why this play is so effective. And then I wanted to give you kind of an advanced setup that you'll see people use from time to time. So when people can't stop an offense, they figure, well, we'll just blitz the offense, right? That's what a lot of people will do. And so what I want to do is show you a little bit of a trick that I've been using out of this. So you're still going to use that same double team mechanic. All you're going to do is essentially, instead of scrambling outside of the pocket, you're going to scramble right up the middle. So you're going to go this way, and then you're going to basically scramble kind of and walk right down the middle of the pocket. Now, the reason you want to do that is because most of the time, if people are sending corner blitzes at you and they're containing their rushes and doing all this stuff, that's where this is going to, that's where ultimately this is going to essentially work out because here you're going to see, they're going to send heavy pressure off this right side. So I'm just going to run right up the middle. And as you can see here, that's basically an automatic six to seven yards. To say this play is hard to stop is an understatement. And I want to give you one last little tip with this play. The, the last tip I have for you with this specific play is you can motion Tavon Austin over to the right side and essentially use him as a blocker. So I can snap him right about here, and you'll see that I'll get an additional blocker on my side for me to be able to scramble out of the pocket. That's something that not a lot of people use, but I find that this scrambling technique is really, really good for people who like to blitz a lot. If people are sending a lot of pressure at you, using this little technique right here, you will have so much success. You'll be able to roll out. You'll be able to hit your delay fade, and your offense will continue to move on schedule. Now, the last thing that I wanted to talk about was the complement of these plays. We've talked about curl flat corner a little bit, but one of the other things that I love about this is that this curl flat corner play is essentially the inverse of the PA cross. Everything's going to the left side now as opposed to going to the right side. And the setup for this play is relatively simple. All we're going to do is we're going to smart route Devontae Adams. We're going to put Tavon uh, Austin on a streak, and we're going to put Valdez Scantling on a out route. Now, what I like to do is I like to take Tunyon, and I like to put him on a block and release crossing route so that he drags across the formation. And then I actually like to take the running back and can do a little bit of everything. Sometimes I'll block him. Sometimes I'll put him on a delay flat route. Sometimes I'll put him on a wheel. One of my new favorite routes is to put him on a streak. And the reason why is because they will treat that like they will treat a delay fade. And it really does work well for you. All that to say, let's say that the defense runs some kind of Mabel coverage here on the outside to try to stop everything. And what you're going to notice is this little quick out route uh, quick corner route to the outside will basically get wide open against every single zone in the entire game. It's going to get over cloud flats. It's going to get over those zone drops, and you're going to be able to be successful. The other thing I really like about this is let's say that they are running um, the play cover four show two, and they, for whatever reason, you know, they play the sticks, and they essentially turn this into uh, matching coverage. What you're going to notice here is Valdez Scantling is going to basically pull those outside quarters, and as you can see, you're going to be able to get this wide open. This corner route is super hard to stop, especially when you run into the wide side of the field. One last little adjustment that you can make out of this is you can actually run this stock, um, meaning you don't have to necessarily smart route Devontae Adams. And that's one of the other cool features of this play is that corner route is good even without the smart routing technique. And you'll see here that that cover three will drop back, drop back, drop back, and you'll see you'll have this route about 30 yards down the field. This combination of two plays is the hardest offense to stop in the entire game. Now, obviously, in the ebook, we go through a lot more detail about kind of how to run this as an entire scheme. We break down several setups for you and give you all the tools you need. But I wanted to give you a free sample and kind of cover the foundational principle that the ebook is based on. And if you want to get the full ebook, it's in the description. Now, if you're sitting there and you're saying, man, I want a little bit more of a sample, we actually have that available for you in our text message membership completely for free to you. I've put together a one-hour sample video of the Bunch Tight End Offensive eBook, 
And if you would like to get that, it's completely free for you to get it. All you have to do is text me. My phone number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the description, and it's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen. So if you want to get that Bunch Tight End ebook as a sample, go ahead and hit me up via text message. I want to thank you for watching today's video, and I also want to invite you to our nightly live streams where you can see me running this exact offense on stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for your time, and just a reminder, if you want to get the entire guide, it is in the description for you.